way worked up. They've like gone all across the road. There's like no path. Saddle up. Beyond the stars, out where the sun sets, we'll find the light and we'll keep it our secret. Oh, anywhere you wanna go. Hi guys. In last week's episode, we started off on Route 4, which was from Carmax in the Yukon, and it brought us down to Watson Lake. And it was a beautiful road. This is really something spectacular. It's yeah. a good 300, 350 kilometers of really all dirt and gravel, um, pretty nicely graded. So you just kind of blast through there, super isolated. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, really nobody around. And we do sort of get into that whole introverts paradise <laughs> thing uh, in the episode. So that's something to look forward to. Well, I don't for. think that we saw any wildlife, right? We saw no. a not a porcupine, it was a beaver. Oh yeah, we saw the beaver. Okay, yeah, so we did see something. That's always the thing that I look for, is I wanna see the animals. That, that's how away. Jess uh, like sort of <laughs> highlights the- The road the and the animals. Yes. <laughs> but you know what happened along the way? The thing that motorcyclists fear. Dread most. Yeah. Greg, he lost his tools. Yes, rode off with my tools sitting on the bike and they were blasted like all over the highway and uh, sort of a nightmare. So really the question there that gets us thinking is like, what are the tools that you can't live without? The tool or tools? I mean, it's easy to say like all the tools, because that's how I feel. But you know, stop and think for a moment, like what's the tool or, or tools that you just like, I've got to have these. And leave that in the comments below because yeah. we're always kind of curious to know like what's out there and see if we're sort of on the same pages is others so so let us know mm -hmm. um, but yes it happens that I lose all my tools and um, yeah. I'm, I'm still smart from it yeah. <laughs> so stick around and uh, let us know your most essential tools in the comments below we have a situation of tragedy built on folly with a foundation of nonsense yeah. We've lost the top, the cap, for our giant loop armadillo bag. <laughs> now I'm I'm talking to the camera, Moxie. Sit. Sit. It's not sit. <laughs> Every time I see you, I'm caught up in the feeling. I get tunnel vision. Every time I see you, everything around you fades into the wind, and my heart's thrown. It was eight o'clock. It was time to stop for the day. So we pulled into our favorite type of place, which is a, a rock quarry. And uh, there's always this nice flat area. The big concern on our end is my rear tire seems to be holding. Definitely has those cracks in the sidewall, but the tube seems to be solid. Ugh, I, I'm ready to be in the warm weather. We've really been sort of um, suffering in this cold weather. I've been like wearing all of my clothes. Uh, Moxie's trying to get into the... Moxie, you just moved the steak. When it's evening time and Moxie is ready to be done for the day, or if there are a number of insects around and she wants cover, she will always go over to her dog house and she will just sit there and wait. And sometimes she'll even use her schnout to try and get through the mesh so that she can get inside. Is there a line to access the tent? Is this what's happening? <laughs> we have to put down Moxie's tender paw before we go in. Otherwise, she's going to lay in the middle of the tent, and then I'm not going to be able to put the thermal rest down. And then I'll try and put them on top of her, and then she just won't give a shit, and she'll just still lay there. Moxie, no cutsies. To support the Go Roughly Around the World adventure, visit GoRoughly.com to purchase outdoor gear for you and your dog. It's ethically made, looks amazing, and holds up to all the abuse that Moxie gives it during our adventures.
Use coupon code GORUFFLY20 for 20% off your purchase. Thanks so much, and now back to the adventure. Uh, Moxie, that's quite the hillside redoubt there. Are you digging in for an ambush or are you hiding from us? Moxie, What's happening? Come, come, come. Meanwhile, we have a positive conclusion to the missing cap for the Giant Loop Armadillo Bag crisis. We went into the country store and we found a bunch of jerry cans to essentially rig up a fix. Nice to meet you, hello. Never been here before, but I feel like I'm home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put my feet on the road. Meet me over the coast. We got places to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get a change of pace? Just a little open space. Now I see a brighter day. We saw the sign. So the view was there and it said ADV riders welcome. Yeah. So you're not on Airbnb, so it's all just word of mouth. Is yep, that it? Pretty much. Uh huh. Yep. And so you just get a bunch of riders that get c coming through and they yep. see your sign and oh, that's awesome. It, it works best that way. That way we don't have to filter out the. The riffraff. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> say, the word say, it, yeah. Say, say it like it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is edible, but not now because the worms have gotten into it. Okay. But if you see them really um, small. I've seen them small, yeah. You can eat them. Yes. Okay, good Flick to them know. and pick them. I was asking about their neighbors, if they had any on either side or what the situation is. They don't have any. They just have a few little ones down there. Oh, my God. I imagine we could have a place that had, like, no neighbors. I oh, love it. Neil, you're originally from Ontario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he moved out here to Yukon because there were too many people in Ontario. Uh, <laughs> this guy coming from California, Southern California, <laughs> too many people means something very different. It's gorgeous. Like Love contemplate it. life. Look yeah, at smoke a cigar and just be in bliss. Yeah. Oh wow. Fact or fiction, porcupines shoot their quills out. Fiction. They do not shoot their quills out. Although, really cool to think so. And we put the shroud in. Oy, and we already start filling. Fuel all over my bike. <laughs> so there's a big difference when Greg does it than when I do it. Whee! Nine thirty came, and then that's when twilight started coming. Why was it necessary that we continue on so late? Because we wanted to get to Watson Lake, because that was the only place that was going to have signal, because we wanted to be able to do some work this morning. So we continued on and got four bars of 3G, and we were like, okay, great. The sound of generators first thing in the morning. Common thing at established campgrounds that just always puts me in a bad mood. Brings out the real grump in me. Show me something new. Hey, 
yeah, it's a hell of a time. This world's insane, but we gon' be alright. The door is open. We're here at the signpost in Watson Lake. And like all motorcyclists tell us about this after they've passed through. Originally there was one signpost that was posted here. And then since then, everybody who comes through, they get like, they bring their own signs or have signs made. And they had to put these posts up so that people could, could fill it up. Now I have schlepped all kinds of things on the back of my bike during Go Roughly Around the World. A giant banner for some of the events that we did, a 10 kilogram kibble bag when we bought too much for Moxie a couple of times, gas bags for long distances, but a go roughly street sign was just not something that I was going to shell up. So we're gonna put a sticker up. Moxie's gonna have a little walk around and then we're gonna get going and going. Some kind of ride, just leave the worries on the other side. Come on, we got all that we need. I'm gonna make some noise while I am young and free. The sky is open, the stars are up. We got each other, and that's enough. Just feel elated, everyone should. Let's show the world. Just a quick stopover in Coal River, which is sort of a one horse town, maybe a one bison town, because this is apparently bison country. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll itch your face in a sec, mm -hmm. hang on. Moxie? Mm -hmm. Moxie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We didn't make it as far as we wanted to because of all of the uh, hoopla of Greg losing his tool tube, searching for his tool tube, finding his tool tube. Okay, just now. I look, did you see it? That took up some time and also all of the filming for the bison and all the fun things that we saw. So it didn't get us the five or six hours we were supposed to make yesterday.
Thanks so much for watching. Go Roughly Around the World is a $100,000 fundraiser for the nonprofit Girl Up. They provide leadership and development training for girls in 130 countries. Right now, we've reached about $12,000 out of our $100,000 goal, and I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has donated. If you love what we're doing, come and visit us over on Patreon. For a small monthly support, you'll be able to get behind the scenes of our episodes, tips and tricks, and really dive deeper into the adventure with us. In this week's Patreon episode, we're going to be talking about Greg's issue with the tool tube and all the tools that he lost. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube and at GoRoughly for Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again, and we'll see you over on Patreon.